Hey there, everyone. I hope you are all doing good. Today, I'm here to talk to you about a module I had a long time ago. Function. It's now back in black. Why I decided to bring it back to my make noise system is one, I had 8 HP left and as I'm teaching with this system I was often missing one envelope generator, one LFO, one something having only the math as a modulation source for the whole thing and so one day and on the reissue in black, I was like, oh, it will fit perfectly in the black row of this system because I have a bit of a visual problem. I need things to look nice to me so I can use them. And I find that it does look pretty good like this. I like it. And it was also an excuse to do a video on this. So what is function? It's often referred to as alpha math, but it's a little bit less than alpha math because you don't have the mixing capabilities of the math. But it's also a bit more than math because you get end of rise and end of cycle, two different rhythmical outputs. And you have that ang function. You could say that this one is like math, very surge minded. But if math was the dual universal slope generator, the DOSG with an additional mixer inside, this one would be more like a smooth step generator, but just the smooth side. Let's have some patches with it so I can explain to you the many things that it does. At the core function is a slew limiter. What is a slew limiter? It is basically a voltage controlled glide. To make you hear what it does, I'm going to patch a sequence. Okay, so I have this pitch sequence going. What function can add to this is glide. So in this case, it's going to be used as a CV processor. I'm going to process my sequence, the one volt per octave sequence, the actual control. Plug it in the function. I plug the function back to the oscillator one volt per octave input. And I have the same thing that before. What's interesting with this kind of circuit is that you can apply positive slew meaning that the voltage will only be slewed when the voltage is going up. Or negative slew. Glide when the voltage is going down. Or both. And then you can control all this. So random on the positive slide. And I will use that divide by six clock to activate the negative slew. 
So that's the first thing it can do. It could also be an envelope. So let's keep the same sequence. And instead of processing the one volt product, I'm going to send triggers. I'm going to patch this oscillator to a VCA. So now, every time it's triggered, it does rise and fall. One of the interesting things is that if the rise is too long, it will wait until it finishes to rise until it falls again. So you can sort of divide time like I'm doing right now. I like to send this kind of modulation to multiple destinations on top of the amplitude. Also, it excels at doing those super plucky, extremely exponential envelopes that are awesome for percussion when you control oscillators with them. Let's send the whole thing to a low pass filter. Notice that we have that negative output. I'm going to patch it to something that has an attenuator, so basically um, it's just a copy of the, of the output that I'm reversing to make it work in a positive fashion. It's possible. To control the frequency of the filter. Also, those envelopes are voltage controllable. After all, they're just the same parameter than before. That's one of my favorite things. You can also use this as a modulator. As you can cycle it. And when it cycles, you can use the plus. To modulate anything in a positive manner. And the minus in, to modulate in a negative manner. Those two outputs are going to have whatever shape you create yourself. If you're on the linear slope here, you can make triangles or saw waves or ramp wave. If you use those end of rise or end of cycles, you can have square waves of different duty cycles. Basically one is high while the other one is low. So you can use both at the same time, one for modulation and the other one to advance something. can also be used as an oscillator. It won't track one volt per octave, though, because it doesn't have any input for this, but 
Yeah, I have this oscillation that I can hear. I'm going to do the same thing with the two channel of math. These are quite hard to tune, but you can make nice drones with them, like right now. But then you don't have any envelopes anymore. You can still ping. One droning and two being plucked. Anyway, just the fun stuff. I also love a function for one of my favorite patch with this kind of setup. Which is to use the pressure point as a keyboard. With the pressure to control the loudness. As long as you are using a low pass gate, you get that natural decay sound, but if you're using a transistor-based circuit, such as the Q-Pass, for example, as soon as you release the key, you don't have anything left. So I would process the pressure to give it a release using the slew part of this. But if you have a sort of sequence going on, or let's say a random voltage, you could patch it to the hang input. So it will record your movement, but stop at some point. Maybe it's a bit too often. Let's do it with a clock. Better with the clock. So you could, you could step through parameters. It can also be used as some sort of a sample and all. It's actually a track and all, but it, it can add a new stepped modulation on top of the Wogglebug and Tempe. You can make some very weird combination also when it's cycling. Also, when it is cycling, modulating rise and, rise and fall will be some FM. it when something goes to the input that's what it's taking and when you release you get the cycle and here I have tuned the fall so each cycle is related to the frequency of the touch plate I've touched last pretty fun again So yeah, lots of stuff to do with this one. This was kind of just scratching the surface, but I did a video for the Q-Pass where I'm using it as well as a, an envelope follower, which I'm going to add right now. So audio to the input, signal input. Rise almost to the minimum then. Bit of fall that's adjustable at taste. 
and this is now going to control the main frequency of QPass. Which will allow us to really reshape the dynamic of the sound. Earlier I've shown that function can be used as an oscillator if you cycle it. But you can also use it for one of my favorite surge type patch, as well as math actually, it will work the same. But there is a few more options that you can have using the function for this particular patch. I've also shown it with the no coast. It works particularly great with the slope circuit. Anyway, let's try with function. The idea here is that we are going to send square wave from the DPO to the trigger input of this function. This is the DPO signal. Let's monitor the positive output. So what you can do from here is wave shaping basically. The fall will act as some sort of PWM kind of sound. But more interesting, the rise will divide the frequency. can create subharmonics out of your input signal. Function and math work best with um, not too high signals actually. One of the great things that you can do with this patch is actually to animate a static oscillator and to make some sort of an arpeggio out of it using unquantized voltage such as what's coming out of the no control. Whatever happens, the pitch remains the one from the oscillator. Let's control it with a quantized CV from René, just played by hand. does get a bit buggy at some point, which I like. I like the instability of this thing. One good thing to do is actually to mix the input signal and the subharmonics. Let's modulate the fall with a cycling function from math. Also take the inverted out. We could even mix the inverted and positive signal to get a take the end of rise or end of cycle for square wave with pulse width modulation. We 
which are even more buggy. And both don't exactly have the same output actually. This can be pretty fun for stereo patching. I'm going to patch these two to Q-Pass. End of rise to the left and end of cycle to the right. To use an envelope for math. I'm going to use the fundamental to modulate Kupas. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Make Noise, for doing such great little things. Your modules are always awesome. And this simple one is no exception. Thank you for the added lightning bolt on the black panel. <laughs> I don't know why I love it, but I do. Anyway, thanks for watching again. Feel free to go have a look at my Patreon if you want to grab lots of samples out of those videos. And if you want maybe to get some teachings about modular synthesizer, Ableton Live, Breakhole, whatever, you can also buy some stuff from the affiliate links below in the description if you want to support the channel that way. Thanks, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.